shining brighter than the sun. We're lighting up the world for everyone. And no, we're never quitting, never done. We're only getting brighter and brighter. So raise one hand high. Feel your light in the sky. We're gonna keep it shining forever. Oh, oh, oh. it's brightest when we're shining together. This little light. that I felt that was really connected to this topic is James 1, 2-4. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So the world that we live in today it often tells us that we must try and avoid our hardships, our difficult times. But why? That is supposed to make us stronger in who we are. Our identity is built on Christ. And it also makes us impatient. It takes the value of our perseverance away. So just imagine the dinosaur, okay? It's going for a hunt and it's hiding on the field, okay? It's on the field, yeah. And then there's a horse. Now, the horse is just lovely eating, yeah? And then if this dinosaur is not patient, it won't catch the horse. And obviously it wants to eat. So, there's a lot of outcomes that can happen if you're not patient. And the world has taught us that I want it now. If I don't have it now, then I don't want it. But why? Because in the Bible it says trust in God and it will come. It is not in your time. God com comes on his own time. So you really got to like pause your feelings and your immediate reaction and just learn from the experience that you're going through. Because these hardships always teach you something. And joy and happiness are not different. They're the same thing and they're independent from your hardships. No person can determine if you're happy or not. You make the decision if you're going to be happy today or not. And often people are like, oh, this person made me upset. But why? Why must a person make you upset? They shouldn't be determining your happiness in that day. And Remember, most of your stress comes from the way you react to the situation. So it's not the way that life is that, oh, this thing made me upset. Now this is how I'm going to react. I'm going to be upset for the rest of your day. And it's, so if you adjust your attitude, you'll get a different outcome. So what sort of means in that is if you sort of adjust your attitude to thinking, like, what would Jesus do? then you would be so much happier because you wouldn't worry what other people think. So the, the, 
quote that I have for you today is anxiety happens when you think you have to figure everything out. Turn to God. He has a plan. So that sort of sums up what I've been saying because it says often us as people, also the world has taught us that, that we have to figure out everything on our own. We have no one to help us. But there's so many people that care about you and mostly you have God on your side. He has a plan for you and he hasn't forgotten about you. He has always loved you. So just remember that when you're going through a tough time that you have God on your side and you can overcome anything. So that's my message for today. Cheerio!